From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. While health officials prepare for the arrival of the first coronavirus vaccine in country, police busy with another murder and another public relations issue. 20,000 vaccines are expected to arrive today. Officials are expected to begin the rollout in a matter of days after the arrival. Just one case of the virus confirmed from Monday, and that was in Abaco. There are now 17 persons in hospital with one in intensive care. The death toll increased by two, both New Providence women, 162, the other 57. The death toll is now 185. The inner city violence in the capital continues. Another man shot and killed last night around 9 o'clock in the Pinewood Gardens area. Police found a man in his car with gunshot wounds. He was dead at the scene. We're now approaching 25 murders for the year already. Meantime, an officer is on administrative leave after a voice note surfaced on social media that could be an assault on a man in custody. Commissioner Roll is looking into the matter, which has been described as alarming. This is what National Security Minister Dames had to say about it. That matter is in hand and uh, will, be, will be addressed as soon as possible to determine exactly what, what it all means. And I'm not going to preempt anything the Commissioner does. That's it. That, is in, that is under his remit. I'm confident that he will do whatever is necessary. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Police staging another walkabout here in the Capitol yesterday. It was high profile in the Camp Road area, during which Commissioner Roll urged persons not to put the police in a position to use force. The commissioner says all matters related to police-involved shootings will be dealt with according to the law. A donation from the U.S. It's health-related. The Americans giving us an infectious disease diagnostic machine. It's valued at around $80,000. has been installed at the Princess Margaret Hospital and among other things, it can provide a COVID-19 test result in about an hour. Education Minister Lloyd confirming that homeschooling is becoming more popular now, confirming that around 2,000 students have signed up for it in the past four weeks alone. No sign of the two men missing in that Ackland's plane crash over the weekend. Officials say time is running out for them to be found. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. Our frontal system is now clearing the area. Partly sunny and windy, maybe a passing shower today. Highs from the mid to upper 70s. 76 at Freeport, 77 in the capital, 79 at Matthew Town. Caution flags up for boaters. Winds gusting to 20 knots. The seas up to 6 feet over open waters. Low tide now, the next high around noon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid-60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines the first response from Buckingham Palace on the Harry and Meghan interview, a short statement expressing concern about the allegations made by the couple and promising to deal with the matter privately. The European Union and Britain in a row over coronavirus vaccines and how they're being handled, both sides finger-pointing. More problems in Myanmar. Another member of the ousted government's party has died while under house arrest. Anti-military protests continue there. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 452, SO 452, Rubus $4.52 per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section of Megan Moss. Update in the Tribune Sports. She's a track star at the University of Kentucky in the U.S. Read about what she's doing. Find out how old-timers softball players feel about playing during the pandemic. A tennis and baseball update in the Tribune Sports. 
and get the latest NBA news as they head into the second half of the season, plus the complete results of that recent swim meet, all in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in there. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.